My name is Professor Elijah Omwenga. I am a professor of computer science. My background stems back from Kenyatta University where I had my bachelor's degree in education science. Thereafter, postgraduate diploma in computer science, a master's in computer science from the National University of Science and Technology in Blair, Ohio, Zimbabwe, and a PhD in computer science, a sandwich program between the University of Nairobi and Free University of Brussels. In the master's program, I got a scholarship, a Commonwealth scholarship, to go and do my master's in computer science in a Commonwealth sponsored institution, National University of Science and Technology. And while I was there, my professor, who had been sent there from the University of Dublin, Professor Zidonu, was a friend of one of the inventors of one of the languages, so, and a writer. Harvey and Harvey were the people who first wrote extensively about Java. Java is one of the most prolific programming languages in the world. So in 1996, I was here doing my master's. Professor Zidon comes from the US and gives me a CD written how to program in Java. It was one CD, so he gave it to me. I think he used his judgment to give it to me. And he told me, I want you to learn Java and do your project in Java. I didn't disappoint him. I did a project codenamed EduWeb, EduWeb, which was the first e-learning system in its time using technology to offer education. It won an award and I was given the best student award at that time and the best project award by the university which gave me a UNESCO award to present that project in UNESCO Paris. I went there I won another award in Paris for being the first African to use Java to write a fully-fledged application. That was 1997. I came back to Kenya. When I arrived, I got a scholarship under the VLIM, the VLIR. VLIR is the Flemish, Flemish Inter-University Council, a project of the Belgian government for the Kenyan people and the other people of the third world. I got a scholarship based on that project. And my PhD was basically about developing an e-learning management system, which I did, called Wedosoft. Wedosoft was a learning management system, perhaps the only one of its kind in Africa, because UNESCO adopted it, and I installed it in 13 African universities under UNESCO, the auspice of UNESCO. University of Nairobi used Wedosoft for 10 good years. Out of that, I got a Distinguished Scholar Award of the University of Nairobi when they celebrated 50 years in 2019. I was one among the 33 fitted with a Distinguished Scholar Award of the University of Nairobi because of the Wedosoft system, the e-learning management system that I developed as part of my PhD. So I installed this system in 13 other universities in the, around the world, in Rwanda, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Ahmed Abala University in Nigeria, in um, the university in South Africa, University of Western Cape. They used my way to soft system there for a while. Therefore, I'm very proud that I developed an ecosystem, an e-learning ecosystem, which uh, um, inspired the growth of uh, technology-supported learning in Kenya and even beyond.